Pet Vivo has innovative tools for the management of osteoarthritis in animals. With me, the CEO, John Lai, to bring us up to date on the expansion, because you've really accelerated over the past couple of years. So in October of 2022, we had about 50 clinics and a few states using the product. Uh, as of July, we're over 500 clinics and we're in 49 states. We got one loan holdout, Vermont. I haven't figured that one out. <laughs> so we're gonna get Vermont here real soon. And this is all being done just within the equine space. So we're very excited to have multiple studies that I've talked about in the past that will be coming to market for felines and canines. With those studies, it gives our distribution team and sales team ammunition in terms of educational data to the veterinary doctors where they're one feeling it's totally safe this product is safe can't do any harm and that will lead to adoption of the product and they're also showing very good data uh, in reduction of mobi increased mobility and reduction of pain in dogs and cats and so on. Now, you mentioned safe, and yeah. this is a natural product, yes. which is one thing I know a lot of people like. But describe the product. For people, maybe we've done several interviews. Yeah. Maybe this is the first one Sunday I've seen. So sure. So spring is what I describe as an extracellular matrix. So the base proteins are collagen, elastin, and heparin. It's actually the protein particles that build cartilage and tissue in the human body. So it's the same when you're dealing with dogs and horses. So once the product, so it's, we sell it to the veterinary doctors, the veterinary doctors do what's called the interarticular injection. So the particles going into the joint will seek out areas where cartilage used to be and starts to form a scaffolding. That's the uniqueness of the product is that you don't get an instant improvement and then diminishing uh, efficacy. Ours actually, once it's injected, the scaffolding builds over the next six months. So the joint actually improves over the next six months time. And one of the benefits that we have seen is with the, and we, we believe it lasts at least a year. When we did our human studies, we tracked it a year, but in the real world application, we've seen beyond that. One of the external benefits is that we have seen a dramatic reduction in the need of pharmaceutical products once spring is in. We have seen one dog where they were on six different meds and within 30 days, they're off all six meds. So the problem when you're dealing with pharmaceuticals or biologics, there's inherent side effects to them. So with NSAIDs like Rumidel and so on, it causes potential gastrointestinal tract bleeding, stomach ulcers, and over time, liver and kidney failures. Those are all our product basically has no side effects. Because it is natural, the body sees it as naturally being there. There is no autoimmune response to try to reject the particles. So we feel that there's a lot of external benefits beyond just the increase in mobility and pain reduction of the animal. This is a great time to bring in, John, because uh, you talked about dogs and, and you're the owner of Sit Happens New York. So tell me, uh, tell me about your business and what you're doing that involves the spring product. Okay, great. Thanks. Good to be here. Uh, I own a, a company called Sit Happens Dog Training. I'm based in New York City and on Long Island. And uh, we've been in business about 25 years now, uh, training all sorts of pet dogs, working dogs, et cetera. My experience uh, came when my veterinarian introduced me to my last and final option that nobody really knew about yet, uh, and hopefully everyone's going to know about uh, sooner than later, with a dog that was nearing 15 years old, my own personal dog. Uh, Joey is a schnoodle, a schnauzer poodle mix, and had knee surgeries um, called TPLOs and was suffering from osteoarthritis, and his knee joint was basically incapacitated, couldn't even get up off the ground. Our veterinarian said there's this new thing out called spring, we should give it a shot. So long story short, we did do uh, this injection and within a matter of days, it was absolute magic, absolute magic. My dog was up walking and on a trail within a week. So it completely saved his life, his quality of life. Uh, I had then recommended it to several other customers uh, with dogs that were uh, one younger, one older, um, one that was totally lame uh, after a knee surgery and never bared weight 
And within that first week, I was helping that person walk that dog completely normally on all fours. Absolute game changer. Amazing. And that was really before, because uh, you mentioned sometimes it's off label or I don't know what the right word. Well, yeah. So doctors, human doctors or veterinary can use the product for whatever they want. Yeah. So we, we have automatic clearance by the animal side of the FDA because we did this human study where the human side of the FDA declared our particles as a medical device, human medical device. So it automatically gets classified as an animal medical device. And because of that medical device designation, pet insurance covers it. So that's one of the major windfalls. So, so there's other new products coming out, but they're not covered under insurance. And the regimen is a lot longer in terms of injections and the likelihood of success is much lower than ours. I mean, it's really interesting. You talked about the dog that was late yeah. and then all of a sudden walking within just a week. Um, yeah. It's amazing. What And is it is it just one shot or? Yeah, he can he can actually tell you. For me, it was only uh, one initial. So specifically on my dog and this other dog, um, this dog had had a knee surgery about uh, 13, 14 months prior uh, called the TPLO, a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy. is a surgery of the knee. And he recovered, but he never really ever bared weight on that leg again. And there was a lot of atrophy in the muscle. It was really withered away in there. So I had made this, this suggestion uh, based upon my own amazing results with my own dog and uh, went back, put a harness on the dog. And I, I believe it was four or five days later. It was in that first week. And this was a customer of mine. I was working with a younger dog of theirs. They have three dogs. So I had made this suggestion. I took them outside and we started walking. And the, um, this gentleman's wife came out. She was in tears. She had not seen her dog actually walk in, you know, just about 13, 14 months now. So I gave him a protocol on how to do therapy. And uh, he's fine today. He's walking around today. He's really, yeah, it was for me, it was super exciting because this is something that completely transformed the life uh, for my family with our own dog and my dog's life particularly. And then that went on to uh, a dog that uh, does work uh, out on Long Island for uh, retired Marines who are PTSD and other things, a service dog, a customer of mine is Golden Retriever, was having some elbow issues and uh, you know, tried the steroids and things. Those were short kind of lived and, and, and pain management. But uh, I went to see that dog yesterday and uh, he's hanging out. He's really, uh, he's doing super, super well, walking around totally different, totally different, uh, magnificent change in the management of how these dogs are living. Okay. Now we talked about dogs and of course, mm -hmm. horses, um, cats yes. are also a possibility. And then, well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not a possibility. It's being used, <laughs> even though we haven't issued the paperwork. Um, and, you know, the human side is very intriguing because once we have this data from the animal side, it really helps support the human side, okay? We've already done what is called a lot of the uh, CRO work, which is the human side determining how do you present it to the FDA? What are the trials that will get you approved to the FDA? And more importantly, how do you position and make the claims that insurance will reimburse? They're basic, I can't think of any product that's performed well that doesn't have human insurance reimbursement. So that's one of the key drivers. And this is how Wall Street or a, a private equity fund would value is the CRO report, time the market, and the total addressable market of that product. Well, um, yeah, I mean, that'll be very interesting. And I'm sure the going through that FDA process is much more stringent. Yeah, but we already done a lot of it. So we got safety because we did 145 person human trials. That's how we got the human medical device. So it's a lot easier for us since we already declared by the FDA as a human medical device. So the difference is from a pharmacology or biologics is you don't have to do phase three with our human medical device. We can, in theory, go into a 510K, which we probably won't choose because the 510K is much harder to get insurance reimbursement. We would do what's a PMA, and that's about a two to three year process. But then with that, the likelihood of getting insurance reimbursement is much higher. John, any final thoughts or any other stories you wanna share? I can tell you, uh, 
I'm hoping myself to to be an advocate uh, for this product for sure. I'm going to keep uh, promoting it as much as I can because almost on a daily basis, I'm seeing, uh, you know, if it isn't a dog that I'm working with a family, it could be their older dog and they don't have that information. Uh, and just a, a total and true believer. I mean, it's funny because you know, sometimes you see some things and you say, if I could do it, you could do it, but I've done it and I did it and it works and it's great, it's amazing. And for me, it's the future uh, of management for these types of things. Um, it's something we haven't had before and it, it's pretty amazing. So I look forward to, to more cases uh, of good results. John, any other additional information? Just keep an eye on our website and keep up to date. You know, join the uh, Twitter account, join the uh, LinkedIn and so on, because we, we provide a lot of information on that and follow our nonprofit, PetPeopleCares.org, because they're doing a lot of good things uh, to help people. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, John. And thank you, Judd. Thanks. Thanks for your stories. And I'm sure pet owners will be thanking you. Yep. Thank you, Jane.